How much longer is this video? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today's video is my first ever monthly TMTs. So since I did record the tea shelf tour, that means I can now sit down my collection and try and get it down to what we actually really like and want to keep as regular teas. So I started my sit down on the 11th, I believe. It was either the 11th or 12th of July and I had a goal of 30 teas. And I, I know it's over 50, but I'm not entirely sure. We can count it as we go. All right, so let's start from the front. I finally finished a bunch of the teas from my Suki advent calendar because I absolutely loved all my Suki teas. I just didn't want to finish them. I'm also just a freak and I have a thing about numbers and this was a lot of them so I couldn't drink them. Okay, so from Suki tea we had a pink grapefruit. Um, I made this one into a cocktail once but then it wasn't a video, it's just a cocktail I made and that was actually really nice. Parch was in a pear tree. Turkish Delight was one I didn't like, but Ben did. Lemongrass and ginger. We currently have this made up as a simple syrup and it's unbelievable with matcha. Mince pie, I really liked. Um, goji berry and pomegranate. Raspberry ruffle, red berry, mint choc chip, chocolate orange, both good choices. Uh, Bramble, Spiced Indian Chai wasn't actually one of my favourites. Didn't hate it, but didn't love it. Spiced Citrus, Lady Lemon Grey. I did like this one. I know. Shocker. Me always saying, I don't like her grey. Well, I liked that one. Uh, blue Grey, Blue, Blue Grey, Blue, uh, Earl Grey, Blue Flower. Oh, that's my first stumble. And Apple Loves Mint. This one. So good. Right, so that is so cute. Next up, uh, we have brew. So I just finished two brew teas. I'm trying to currently go through a lot of the plain black teas that we have because we have quite a few, but it's not really what we gravitate to. We prefer the flavored blacks. So we finished breakfast brew and Lockhart gold. They were just standard black teas. Uh, from Twist Tea, we had the Vanilla Chai and the Raspberry Choc Kiss. I can't even remember drinking this one. Raspberry Choc Kiss, Ben likes. I thought it was alright. It wasn't one of my favourites. From High Tea London, we uh, finished a Second Flush Assam and a Mixed Berry Red Infusion. Mixed Red Berry Infusion. Oh my goodness. Um, these are two samples and... They were fine. I wouldn't reorder them, but they were fine. From... Oh, my seat is squeaky. Turtle tea. We had the air-dried papaya pieces. No taste at all. The summer strawberry green tea. Did not like. Just bad. And then just a plain black tea that I cannot pronounce, which was... Which jar was it? Oh, no, we actually quite like this one. So I'm going to focus so you can see what it is that we quite liked that from herbal culture we had the thai inspired tea and i really 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 liked this when we have done some more sip down and i'm in the market to buy some more tea i'm definitely gonna get this in a big packet would recommend very good we had the eggnog from t2 we didn't like that one. No. <laughs> From It's Tea, which is one of my favourite UK brands. Tea shops. It's actually just a one-off shop, but I always recommend them because their blends are fantastic. We have an Indian mango chai and we had a strawberries and cream. This one I cold steeped and it was actually really refreshing. I liked that. From the Litchfield Tea Company, we finished up Uh Rhubarb Spritzer, Cloud Catcher, and the Wild Cherry. Now the Wild Cherry I absolutely adore. Cold infusing in Coke and then having a bit of vodka with it. So that was sad to see that go, but I did enjoy it with some vodka to finish it off. From 10 teas, I finally finished my orange with zest. It's 
been open a while. Then from the True Tea Company, we had Turkish Apple, which was okay, not one of my favourites. An Assam tea, I mean, it's, it's an Assam. And the Mint Chop Chip, which I was very sad to officially finish. This wasn't even really a full cup's worth. I just couldn't bring myself to finish it before. And I told myself I had to let it go. But this is one of my favourite mint choc chip, mint choc chip teas. Really good. Uh, from Dorothy Teas, I'd forgotten I had this one and I actually really enjoyed it. It's the Nea Panna Estate. It's just a Sri Lankan black tea, but it was very tasty. Then from Adagio Teas, I tried to finish up some of my white teas because I do like whites, but I've realised I'm not actually drinking them very much. So I'm going to condense that pile. We finished up the White Eternal Spring, the White Peach and the White Strawberry. So I got all of those in one of those sample boxes. Then our final tea company for this sit down is Burn and Blend, the tea company that everyone knows from the UK. They're huge. I mean, they're not actually that big, but they are huge. Okay, so uh, from a tea swap, I finished up the blueberry pancake, uh, salted caramel, Lipchen, Lipchon, that's a German word, uh, traditional German gingerbread dipped in a decadent salted caramel. I did like this one, it wasn't my favourite, but I did enjoy that one. The gingerbread chai, did very much enjoy this, but we don't drink rooibos very often. Hazelnut, I can never say this. If I'm saying Fer Ferrero Rocher, I can say it, but if I'm saying this, I always mess it up. But the Hazelnut Rocher, love this tea. That is now gone. The Afagant tea, I do not like. It's got coffee in it, but Ben likes it, so I made Ben finish that. The fun thing about my sip down is that I always make the first cup of coffee the first cup of tea while Ben's still in bed. So he has no say in what I give him. So I wanted this gone. That's what he got given. And then our matches that we finished this month. We got the super matcha, which is the blueberry and acai. I like this one with orange juice, but I don't like it plain. I have done a separate review video for that that I will link below. The chili and kale matcha, I do like that one. The Cocoa Matcha, mm -mm, not a fan. Pina Colada, zero caffeine. So it kind of defeats the point of a matcha for what I want a matcha for, but it does taste nice, I like that one. The Peach Cobbler Matcha, which we had yesterday mix, uh, as an iced latte mixed with an exotic black peach, a black, ex an exotic peach black tea simple syrup that I've made up and Yum. The Monster Maca Mocha. No, nope. Monster Maca Matcha. Ultra Violet Matcha, which I do really like that one. The Lemon Matcha, which technically I made up as a simple syrup. So it's not in its container, but it's also not been consumed. You can decide for yourself whether you think that counts or not. The Mixology Matcha, which is just a plain matcha, nothing special. If you were gonna go for a unflavoured matcha, I wouldn't recommend Bird and Blend. I, their matches taste good, but if for mixing and staying mixed, I don't think they're the best quality of matcha. Uh, Pure Chimp I really like. I've also just started trying the Matcha Fuel, which has been really good, so not one I would recommend. And the Spearmint Scream Matcha. So that is my empties. So how many was it? So I sipped down 10 matches, but in total, 55 teas and matches have begun. So that was really good considering my aim was 30. So what should this month's aim be? Because it is now a full month. I'm feeling like my aim should be 50, but my real aim should be like 70. Is that very ambitious? Maybe, because these were the easiest to finish up and they're now down. It's like, I think maybe five, six or five or six of um, these left to finish. So, I don't know, that's a goal. 
Let me know in the comments what your sit down goal for is this month. Was that a real sentence? You know what I meant, hopefully. I knew what I meant, hopefully. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to do more sit down videos because actually it's quite fun to watch the piles disappear. Please consider subscribing because YouTube, it helps me out and maybe you like my content and I hope you're having a fantastic day, evening, tea sipping time, which is about now for me. Mm, what is this? Anyone else do that? You just forget what you made. Mm. Well, it's delicious and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.